Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Knuckle Joe. Knuckle Joe is a side scrolling beat em up game that was developed by Saibu, Saibu Kaihatsu Saibu Kai in 1985 and licensed to Taito for US distribution. In this game, you play as Joe, who has to rid the evils of what seems to be a district in a post apocalyptic city. I don't know if it's just me, but the dialogue is not really clear to me. When the game starts, it states, and I quote, there are no survivors from here. So basically, you're just there to kick ass because they're bad guys, I guess? There's really no other story other than that. You just go and clean out abandoned areas from this game. The game is slightly reminiscent to the 1980s anime and manga Fist of the North Star. Same setup and everything, it feels like the company was trying to make a Fist of the North Star game and maybe they couldn't secure any licensing or something? Or maybe it was and when it was ported stateside, they changed the game, similar to what happened to the Genesis game Last Battle. But because the game is pretty obscure, there's very little background to confirm if Knuckle Joe went through the same process. Knuckle Joe kind of feels more like a platformer to me rather than a side scrolling beat em up. That's because the area is very limited. I mean, you can just move slightly to the left and to the right, and that's pretty much where all the action happens. There are 15 stages, including three motorcycle stages. There are four bosses, but I never was good enough to get to them because, as with a lot of these arcade games, or just any game of this period, they're pretty hard, and this game is no exception. The enemies are quite difficult to beat, and the a short time limit doesn't help either. Honestly, I just kind of lost interest in playing it straight up. You you might just want to use invincibility mode to just fully explore the game, but I don't really recommend it because you're not really missing much. There was only one other port of this game that I know of when I was researching this game and it's for the Korean MSX and I've read that it's a pretty bad port. It, it's so bad that they just ripped off the box off from the NES game Dr. Chaos. Man, they're not even trying at this point, you know? <laughs> So if you're looking to relive the good old days of gaming history and looking for a good side-scrolling beat-em-up, play some Final Fight and let me know what you think.